Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Erin Janae here back with another video. In today's video we are going to be unboxing Brandon Blackwood's one of his new purses. It's a tote. I don't want to tell y'all what's on the tote. I mean it's probably in the title of this video. But if you're interested in seeing me unbox this super cute bag which I have not seen yet. Let me just say this. I have not taken the bag out of the dust bag yet because I wanted to do it on camera. But if you're interested in seeing that sit back relax and enjoy this video. If you're not already a part of the family go ahead and hit that lovely red subscribe button so you can see more of my videos. Videos. I'm trying to do a lot more fashion content along with my other content because this is stuff I really enjoy. I know I'm not the most fashionable person, but I do have a lot of cute pieces that I think I would love to share with y'all. But before we get into that, I just want to say happy Black History Month to everyone. This is a month to celebrate Black excellence, but also to remember everything that Black people have been through just not only in the last 400 years, but just do during our entire existence. It has been a lot, but I hope that you guys feel empowered this month. I hope that you've been able to reflect on your history, my history, all of that, because that's super, super important. And for this month, I wanted to do a couple of videos kind of highlighting some black brands that I personally like and have like invested in. So that's the break in the first video of this series. So I want to support more black businesses i think that's something i've always wanted to do my entire life but now that i actually have the means to do so and i think now that i'm older i really understand the importance of actually supporting black businesses so one of my favorite ways to do it is either through food or through clothing or accessories so let's get into this unboxing slash unbagging so if you haven't seen my first brandon blackwood unboxing i got a chocolate trunk for Christmas it's really 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 cute I'll insert a quick clip right here but you guys should definitely go watch that video because it's literally like my first impression to the brand I knew nothing about the quality nothing about nothing much about Brandon Blackwood except for the fact that I followed him on Instagram and really 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 wanted one of his bags so I ordered this bag on my own I ordered it at the end of January and I literally got it a week or a week and a half later so this is the hot pink in systemic racism bag and I need to stop talking about it. let's just open Open it up okay super exciting like usual when I unbox things I let y'all see it before me so let's pull it out pull it out hold on okay okay guys what do you oh the texture okay what do you think about the bag is it cute is it is it giving you bougie vibes okay I'm about to open my eyes guys this is act this is actually cuter than i thought it was going to be okay i know in the video you're getting the reflection from my light so i'll try to post some videos of this without like flash or whatever so you can really see but it is also kind of cool to see like what it looks like under light but guys this purse is so so cute so just for a little background, I've been following Brandon Blackwood's brand for a while now. Um, I know social media really took his brand like off the charts. I think it was like this summer and Kim Kardashian actually has this bag. She has it in um, like the tan color, but I wanted like a statement piece and something that like I don't have in my closet. And this is definitely it. Oh my God. Oh my God. So let's just do a little bit of education because it is Black History Month and I believe that it's important not only to celebrate and to learn about our history, but also to learn about different phrases, terms, and words that are important to the Black experience. So this purse says, end systemic racism. Now, some of you may say, Ariane, what is systemic racism? And I'll say, I really didn't know what systemic racism, I probably never even heard the word systemic racism in high school and below. I would say my junior year of college, that's when I started hearing institutional race, institutional racism, systemic racism. I'm like, what is that? Well, let me give you a quick definition. Because I don't wanna mess anything up, according to Wikipedia, and I know we never quote Wikipedia, but they actually had a really good definition. Systemic racism is the formalization of a set of institutional, historical, cultural, and interpersonal practices within a society that more often than not, this is the key, puts one social or ethnic group in a better position to succeed and at the same time disadvantages other groups in a consistent and constant manner that disparities develop between the groups over a period of time. Now I'm not gonna go deep into this because this is not a black history lesson, but we know 
that there are disparities between African Americans and other groups. We know this, specifically African Americans and Caucasians. We know there are disparities. And I think one of the best examples would probably have to be like inequality in education. And I'll say specifically inequality in public education. We know that people of color tend to be in the inner city and the inner cities tend to have some of the worst schools while the suburbs tend to have better schools and the suburb is mostly non black people or I'll say non people of color for the most part. So systemic racism is real if you don't believe it's real. <laughs> it is and it needs to end. I think it's definitely going to be a hard battle to end a hard and long battle. But I think it's definitely possible. And I think one of the first ways to ending it is actually through education, telling people what systemic racism is and how it personally affects you, I think is a great way of starting it. Okay, I'm starting to get a little preachy. So let's focus on the purse. But I just think that's really, really important for you guys to know. And I think that's also why I really, really wanted this purse because it has a strong message. And I think it's really important. And, and it's something that I'm personally passionate about. A lot has gone on. And I am tired of seeing my people, I'm tired of seeing the disparities grow over time. And it's frustrating. Um, and very disheartening. But okay, let me go back on the purse because I'm not trying to cry on this YouTube video. So like I mentioned, Kim Kardashian has this tote and we know Kim has over is it a over 100 million or 200 million i feel like it's over 200 million followers on instagram so you know this purse got around brandon blackwood has over 241,000 followers on instagram as of today and he has so many different bags now let's just focus on this bag so this bag is about seven inches by six inches i'm not sure which side is longer i'm thinking seven inches long by six inches high and then i think it's about two inches like wide if that makes sense and also the purse comes with a strap oh my god this strap is so cute it almost reminds me of like a dog leash a little bit this is really really cute um so i could put this on here i don't want to untape it but i could put this on here and i could actually wear it on my shoulder which i definitely think i will do i think i mentioned that in my last video i personally do not like holding purses all the time i like to have it on my shoulder so i can be on the go because the girl doesn't have time to be like holding stuff like trying to hold food and a purse in your hand is very 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 annoying anyway i digress but yeah so this purse feels really really good my first impression is i'm so happy that i got this satin canvas i think all of them have the satin canvas if i'm not mistaken i'm not sure about the one that kim kardashian has but guys this purse is gorgeous this is definitely a keeper i think eventually when i do move i do want to have this purse on display so that uh i can be reminded that i would love to help end systemic racism and then when people come to my house i let them know we need to end systemic racism and the color is also super super cute and the shine just makes it even better but before we get into the specs of the purse i want to look on the inside course you have this stuffer so that the purse can maintain its size and then i'll post a video of like what the inside of the purse looks like because you guys can't see love that it has this little pocket right here i love when purses have that the, my last purse from brandon blackwood did not have that little pocket but it's okay the purse is still really cute it just i love that it's a lighter pink in here it looks great i have no complaints i think it's a good size it can fit my phone and my wallet and my keys that's the most important thing to me and in all honesty it could fit a couple snacks in it too so I'm not mad um so yeah let's go into the specs for this or i guess the details about this bag so i already gave you the size now this purse is 80 dollars, but good news he actually has either afterpay or karma i don't remember which one but you can split it up into four payments so that's like super super easy and convenient you could put on your credit card or debit card or whatever um i thought it was also really cool all the proceeds for these purses well not yeah part of the proceeds or all the proceeds goes to the door nyc and black girls code which is the organization that's trying to get more black girls i believe it's just young girls um into coding which i think is amazing so go brandon blackwood and this purse comes in a couple different colors it comes in light purple which is so cute light blue which is so freaking cute if you know like the breakfast or not breakfast but if you know like um tiffany's that light blue that like expensive like blue color because all their stuff is crazy expensive it's that color it's so freaking cute like a, it's like a soft baby blue very very cute so light blue lavender hot pink which is what i have light tan which is the color that kim kardashian had 
like a creamish white and then black and I think all of them are sold out except for the white I think I could be wrong but I mean if you like if you like white I would say go for it he is doing another restock in April and apparently this is going to be the last restock of the bag which makes me kind of excited because this is going to be like a a limited edition purse so that's really really exciting but if you're really interested in getting one of these bags again follow him on instagram and turn on his post notifications when it's close to a bag drop and he always posts like a couple of days or weeks before a drop and he gives you reminders different stuff like that so you'll definitely be in the know and i think maybe he's gonna do it pre-order so maybe that means everybody will get a bag but again this purse is amazing quality i have no complaints about it so cute absolutely no thread errors no weird factory smell it's just gorgeous and i cannot wait to like figure out what the heck i'm gonna wear this with i try not to buy things that i don't already have a vision for but i couldn't i couldn't let this pass up now if i were to get another one i would probably get it either in the lavender or the baby blue very very tempting but again very satisfied with my pink and i think yeah if you guys want a quality black owned luxury did i say that in the beginning i hope i said that this is a black owned company oh my god if i didn't i am so sorry brandon blackwood is a black owned business brandon is a male and he's doing his thing with his bags and he has so many other options for bags i'll put some screenshots of some up here just if you want a backpack i think he has little like mini backpacks he has totes he has if you have big pockets, you can get an $8,000 crocodile bag. You can get um, cute little bamboo wallets. He just has a really, really nice variety of purses. Honestly, I think if like the world wasn't in the middle of a pandemic, I would probably get a few more. Not all at one time, definitely spread out. But just because I want to support my people and I can do that while getting a super quality and cute product. I can't complain at all all right yeah well i think that's all i have for you guys in this video again if you're interested i'll have all the details down below in the description box and if you're interested in seeing my other brand of blackwood bag make sure that you go click either at the end of this video or down in the description box to watch that video and comment down below let me know what you guys think about this purse or any of the other purses that i posted do you like it do you think it's overpriced like let's talk down below in the comments but again happy black history month i hope you guys are getting educated and you feel empowered this month you know it's the shortest it's the shortest month of the, the year but you know what we're gonna push through we're gonna push through and we're still going to celebrate but all right y'all it was your girl Ariana Jane. be sure to follow me on my social media and again if you're not already subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that lovely red subscribe button down below so you can join the family and i will see you guys in my next video bye